Hey everybody, Colin Receiver here, TGIF, November 21st. And I want to do a quick hitter on call tracking and its importance. Stay tuned. You might remember that last month I did a series on the four pillars of web marketing. In case you missed it, the October 17 podcast about phone call tracking is really great and I'd encourage you to go listen to it again. Uh, but I'm also going to talk a little bit on the podcast today. Since we have a new podcast audience coming in all the time, I want to give some basics about phone call tracking and why I think it's so critical for your dental practice. First, let me cover quickly what is call tracking. Call tracking let us, lets us assign a different phone number from various marketing channels so we know which ones are working. So your website should have a different phone number than a direct mail piece or a newspaper ad or a billboard or a magazine, for instance. I can't tell you how many dentists I've worked with who have no idea where their new calls are coming from. Others are trying, such as asking callers and then writing down the answers and putting them into a spreadsheet and new patient intake forms. But if you think you can trust callers to tell you where they saw your name, you're wrong. And you'll have inaccurate information to make future marketing decisions. Call tracking is the most accurate way to determine which marketing is effective and which isn't. Of course, that assumes that you do the next step, which is actually analyze the data. But that is the subject for another podcast. Call tracking also is important because it allows you, the dentist, to review those calls coming into your practice and make sure that your front office staff is answering them correctly. At least, the phone call tracking we offer our clients lets you review the calls. That way, you're going to hold your staff accountable. Uh, you're going to keep training them on how to best convert those phone calls into new patients. Whether you work with us or you implement these tactics that I give you with somebody else, just remember that getting phone calls isn't the goal. You have to convert those calls into new patients. And many new patients are lost because of poor phone techniques by your front office. This assumes that you know the best techniques for converting calls into patients, of course. If you don't, get some training on phone techniques uh, and that will go a long way to helping you reach your practice goals. Thanks for watching the Patient Attraction Podcast. And until Monday, Keep moving forward.